वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ आई डोंट नो वॉट द नेम ऑफ द सीरीज इज येट बट पुणे कार्ड्रोम विथ रेव रेसिंग एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू बी गेटिंग मोर इन्फो अबाउट हाउ टू डू प्रॉपर रेस कार ड्राइविंग सो एज यू सॉ बिफोर आई डिट द इंट्रो वी वर डूइंग द ट्रैक वॉक वी हैड अ फ्यू सेशन इन साइड द क्लास रूम वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट द फ्लैग्स हाउ टू कट इन फॉर एन एपेक्स इन स्टफ सो नाउ वी आर गेटिंग रेडी फॉर आर फर्स्ट सेशन ऑफ द डे आर यू एक्साइटेड I'm buzzing. Yeah. So the first session of the day was quite different to anything we had done in the last episode. This time the instructors also jumped into the carts and everyone had to follow them. Basically, this was practice for all drivers to understand and learn the racing line. After that, we headed back to the classroom to understand about apexes and how to judge what corner has what apex. Now the cones you see in the frame are to make the driver stay as close to the apex as possible so that each and every driver can remember and execute the racing line and apex at each and every corner. we've just come out of the classroom we just had lunch and the first two three sessions that we did in the day we were trying to uh, perfect the uh, racing line and now it's going to be the same drill so we're basically going to be set uh, onto the track with a lot of distance between all of the cars and basically what we have to do is we have to be as close to the apex as possible practice our braking um, and make sure that we're sticking to the racing line and not weaving about here and there so we just have to fine tune our skills right now and then after that the session is going to be super fun that's going to be the time we're going to be all out onto the race track With a better idea of the racing line and how to cut in for the apex, almost everyone in our batch had a significant improvement in their lap time. And moreover, since we knew the tricks and techniques, the lap times were more consistent, and altogether, everyone's performance was much more composed. After our session, the instructors pointed out everyone's mistakes, and most importantly, told us something that completely blew our minds. In this whole track, realistically. there were only two breaking points yeah absolutely insane so we are done with our racing line training and uh, i have had a revelation there was a kid that was around 20 kg younger to me in pretty much an equal cart and just by using the line i was able to keep up with him and he was just sending it so we are done with our racing line training and uh, the next uh, The next session we are going to have is basically again but at 100% and uh, we've been told that there are only 3 corners that require braking so we are going to be practicing that that those three corners are we going to be using our brakes but in the other uh, corners we are not going to be using our brakes at all and we're just going to be coasting and trying to use the racing line so time for us to go see you Now using the new advice we had learned in the rain was completely a different story. Slick tires on a wet track really shows how big your cojones are and more importantly how delicate and precise you are when it comes to car control. But this 2-day course had completely changed the way we drove on track. And after this session we had a very exciting and anxiety inducing practice. An amateur race. 
So the instructors had opted for a reverse grid setup and the timings that were taken into consideration were from the previous session. That meant Bhavneet started second last since he was the second fastest and I started third since I was the fourth fastest in the previous session. I had gotten an amazing start because of the cart in front of me broke down just as the flag waved. So I had sneakily gotten up to second position without letting anyone taking me out. Whereas with me, an early collision into turn 2 meant that I had fallen back quite a bit. And after this collision, the cart started to give me too many problems. With only one person ahead of me, I started to pick up the pace and try and catch up to the guy in first. But in these tricky conditions and the guy in front not making a single mistake, my hopes of coming first were slowly being thrown away. For me, it was more of a game of not coming last. My cart used to suddenly lose power and it was becoming more and more difficult for me to catch up to the pack, let alone overtake someone. Even I started to face issues like the loss of power, but more importantly my visor had started to fog up, making it near to impossible to see out of my helmet. But soon, the race got over. Not the result I was expecting for myself, but at the end of the day, it is motorsport and there are always highs and lows. Yup, so guess what? We are done with our basics in training of uh, karting and uh, my certificate's already <laughs> gone. Uh, yeah, well, uh, ap apart from that, we are much better drivers now in the go-kart we know where to go what to do when to brake where to control the car how to do everything we've learned braking we have learned how to um, gauge the throttle we have learned how to uh, gauge the apex when to go late in the epic when to go late on the ap uh, apex again. i'm shivering apex. I'm shivering and most importantly we're more aware of how to drive better on a track and respect each and every uh, all of the competitors on the track uh, it was a great course a big thank you to Rayo Racing for letting us do this because this hasn't been done before I am pretty sure no one no one has done this before we're trying to do things that no other uh, YouTube, YouTube channel is YouTube doing channel in India is doing so this is a first for us as well and hopefully for the community that follows us so share this video with your friends uh, get into racing if you are like 14, 15, 16, whatever. Get into racing. Rayo Racing is the place to be. If you want to be in racing, follow their Instagram and everything. They have regular updates on their next courses. We'll be most probably going for our, their intermediate course. Hopefully for a racing career and, ahead of us. Yeah, and we will be also going to more amateur karting races. So that you guys also have some content. Yep. And to like... Um, justify our misery right now as you can see both of us are quite miserable please do like leave a like on the video so that you guys can also see more of this so i say 700 likes no 500 likes 500 likes 500 likes and we will continue this as a segment so thank you so much for watching we'll see you in the next one McRae on the inside going to take it Senna sprints away, Senna is trying